Hey friends, Matt here. And today we're gonna check out a cool little nine hole course in Rome, Georgia that was kind of built in a unusual location. It's not exactly a public park, not exactly the type of area you would typically see a course. It's on the edge of an easement by a railroad track in between the railroad tracks and the river there. There is a park run walking path that connects it from uh, kind of a semi-industrial just off downtown area to a park where there's uh, some things that people do use, mainly the walking and running path. And it's got a really unusual feature that you have to walk over about a 100, 150 yard old converted railroad bridge to get from one part of the course to another. I thought that was really cool and interesting. So you guys, if you feel like, comment down below on unusual things and courses near you and let me know what you think of the course. I thought it was kind of interesting and I'll walk you through it right here. All right, so starting out hole one, you're going down this tree tunnel. It's a hyzer over here to the left side. There's OB long, so you want to check up pretty close. Heading over to hole two, uh, I, I threw this one really terribly. There's actually a homeless encampment on the left there, and I saw the guy move right as I was throwing, but it's a tunnel shot about 260. Yeah, Hole three is uh, 370 or so, You're trying to pipe it right down that gap there. Four is a short little chip shot. You just want to get it through this 150 foot or so. I went a great throw, but I'm still putting on the right side. Five is probably the hardest one on the course. You want to get through this tunnel, which I failed, failed to do, and there's a drop off on both sides. Six is your longest hole. It's about 375. You have the river behind, but you'd really have to pump one to get it down there. Um, I actually could have even thrown that one harder. It was just short of pin high on the right side, but kind of a fun way to mix it up. Then you cross over the railroad bridge and have some shorter holes over here on the other side. This one's about 250, but you do have the danger of the water on the right here. And uh, we both kind of screwed this one up, but it was pretty fun hole. I able to save par on that. Uh, this one, you're going uphill a little bit. It's about 250. Plays maybe a, just a touch longer because of the uphill nature of the hole. Tate goes with a flex on the left side. I'm going with a hyzer just inside this tree on the right. Checks up right by the basket for a pretty easy tap in. This is one of the less dangerous holes out here. Then we're closing up on hole nine. It's only about 185, but it's really uphill. Uh, Tate goes left side of the tree with a forehand. I'm gonna go basically straight at it with a backhand hyzer with my scale. And if I could have got the skip in the direction I want, I could have had a shot at ace there. So as you can see, that's not necessarily the most typical land you would see for a course. It's big enough to have a few pretty decent holes and some interesting lines. And Rome kind of needed something like this. It's an interesting microcosm of disc golf. So it actually had at Ridge Ferry Park, one of the earliest disc golf courses I knew about in Georgia. Uh, but that one has been since pulled and those baskets are now used at Shag Williams Park up in Shannon, which is a, their main public park course just outside of town. There are also two courses at Berry College and one at Shorter College. The Shorter College one is not that great. And there are parts of the Berry College ones that are you know, kind of uneven as well. But they did not have a free to play public use course. Barry, you can almost always get on campus. Sometimes you can't. Uh, shorter, you really need an ID or hope the guard is uh, feeling like letting guests in. Or if there's a sports event going on, you could tell them you're there to watch soccer or something and then go play the course. It would be okay. But um, for the most part, the one up in Shannon is the only public use course you can always get into. So this is great for disc golfers in that area. You can go down there, price a variety of shots, mainly shorter, but still a lot of fun. And you do have a couple longer holes uh, there in the 350, 375 range. So thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think. And I'll see you in the next one.